grade 9 chapter number 8 motion so before going to talk about this motion we need to go for some daily practice activities so suppose if you are going to start from your home you're going to buy any vegetables or any other some essential things for your home so how long distance you can cover so the total distance covered by an object that we are saying as distance how we are measuring this distance so we need one specific reference point yes that we are called as origin for example in this case our home is an origin our reference point to measure the distance covered by that person right so here we are going to discuss about we must record one is reference point or otherwise we can say as origin from that origin we can be able to specify or to know about the distance or otherwise displacement so in our case we are going to study about right now the motion along in straight line so motion in a straight line so for example from your textbook itself i can take up and we have a straight line i named as both end one end i named as a and the other end i mentioned as b and i mentioned about each and other things each point i carries as 5 10 15 20 25 30 and this becomes 35 as in that 35 meters or in meters okay and i mark this point as c okay as in that you are to start from your home that is zero that is the only rg position reference position from that reference position only we are going to measure about distance and displacement here so suppose a person start to a to b what is the total distance covered so what is the total distance 35 meter that is the distance and what about displacement displacement also 35 meter okay suppose if the person start from a reaches b after that coming back to c so from a to b what is the total distance 35 meter and what about from b to c they have 35 in the sense here we have 20 so 15 meter additionally therefore we will have 50 meter then what about the displacement between a and and C, so what is the total shortest distance between these two that will give us 20 meter. So from the very good example, we can say what is distance in the sense. So distance is distance is total distance covered by object. Total distance covered by an object. What is displacement is is the shortest to distance shortest to distance between initial and final position initial and final position. So here in this case we have initial position is A. And the final position is C. That's why the total distance covered by an object is 35 plus 15 that will give us 50 meter distance. But the displacement, so this is the shortest distance between A and C. So the displacement becomes 20 meter. This is in a straight line. So we will have different different problems for this distance and displacement calculation for very good understanding. Suppose we have just like triangle in C. I mention as A, B and C. And this one is 2 cm, this one is 3 cm. Then what about DC value? Then we can take 4 plus 9, so root 13 cm we can take. Okay. 
or otherwise uh, for our better understanding we can change this one as 4, yes. 4, then it will be easy to calculate. So it will become 5 cell. So an object is going to start from A to B and reaches C. So what is the distance covered by this object from A to B? It is 3 cm, from B to C it is 5 cm. So distance covered by the object is 3 plus 5 is equal to 8 centimeter. But what about the displacement? Displacement, as I said very clearly, displacement means the shortest distance between initial position and final position. This point C is the final position of this right now because it started to move A and after that reaches C. So initial position is A and final position is C. So what about the distance, the shortest distance between A and C? That is 4 centimeter. So by these examples, we can be able to understand distance and displacement.